Well, I figured it out. I had a feeling. Not her, but another one. It's okay, girl. It's okay. Not her, but another cow. Someone shot with an arrow a long time ago. Listen. Sorry, girl. Someone shot her. Come on, girl. Here. Yeah. And now there's another one limping in the same spot. That's ridiculous. This is the creek where I caught a fish in my truck, if you remember. It hasn't rained in so long now, it is dry. Well, not dry, the rocks are wet. I'm going to see if the uh, turnips are growing. on a part of the dam by their pond they've made a trail the cows have and uh, getting where the water gets up a little higher it's gonna start running out so gotta put a fence up Three cows limping now, well two cows in the bull. And I believe someone has shot off three of them. I don't know why. One of them somebody shot with the arrow years ago. We got the arrow out. I didn't do a video on that. I don't even like doing videos when they're limping and struggling because it's kind of disturbing. We haven't had enough rain. Right after I planted all this, we got a good rain. There's nothing coming up. Absolutely nothing. Simmons all in here, so there's probably coyotes around here. Other than that, nothing. I don't know. Now there's a couple. There's a couple little ones coming up. Over in the area closest to the grass. Yeah, there's a little bit coming up. over here. I'm not sure where yet though. Well there's a little bit coming up so that's a good thing. It rained yesterday for about 30 seconds. Yeah, whatever it takes right? Show you something. That is Cody poo poo. See the persimmon seeds in it? And that's exciting. The 
there's more. Just in case you're, you're interested. Doesn't look like they eat the, uh, oh, those are, uh, pig nut hickories. I thought those were persimmons too. They're not. They, I don't know if they'd eat the green ones anyway. There's a few purple ones on the ground. Or darker red ones. All right, let's fire up, get back in our blue and head back up. Well, here's the verdict. One of the cows has been shot by somebody. The other two, I can't take this off with this cameraman. The other two, as well as the one that's been shot, have hoof rot. Hoof rot, if you heard me. Man, I don't want that to swing all the way up and like that. 30 years of having cows, never seen hoof rot. I called a couple of Presbyterians to find out. I'm sorry, I mean veterinarians. I put it in four low and then second gear to just creep around the field. It's kind of bumpy. So we're gonna get them some antibiotics. It's a little bumpy. But right now, one of the problems, here's what I didn't know. So if you ever get hoof rot, let me back up and get situated. Hold on. So we're gonna get what I was saying was we're gonna get some uh, antibiotics or get a vet out to give them some tetracycline. Why can't I open this gorilla tape? I don't have any fingernails to find the spot, but I do have this Merry Christmas knife. This is not for the cows. This is for gorillas when they get hurt. No, actually, since, uh, <laughs> I'm struggling here. Since it is contagious, which I did not know, because I've never seen it before, because our cows have never had it, we've got to reload the pond. That is part of the problem. Because it's low. There's our pipe that goes to the creek. But look. Come with me. And a lot of the older cows will walk in a line. They'll walk the same path. So if someone, one of them gets something, then some of the other ones will get it. But they had a pond. I've, uh, I've been out here a while. I called my dad. He come down. We got the tractor. They had a perfect trail through here. So the pond, if it ever rains, is going to overflow. So I put up this fence a little while ago. I don't let you see that because it was a, I just didn't. A big gigantic brown pile of poo. So if you need any uh, fertilizer, there it is. So now I'm gonna tape this thing together and get the pump run down the creek I'll reload the pond for a few hours. Looks well, like we're about three feet short. So I need to straighten this up so I can have more pipe.
It is nice and toasty out this morning. It is about, well, it's not morning anymore. It is around lunchtime, and my person is hungry. <laughs> I didn't know that my person was a thing. I think that's what people call each other sometimes now. Their significant other is my person. I don't know. I think we'll have enough now. What do you think? Let's get over here. I don't know. Still looking a little short. Well, I gotta straighten up a lot more, don't I? That was a not a good attempt. Let me do this real quick. It's a little closer now. I think that'll be good. I drank this a little while ago. It's red. My gums are so red, it looks like I've never owned floss in my life. Pretty odd. So now we'll tape it up. Can you give me a hand? Better than a uh, duck tape. Now, let's go see if. Mm, sorry, I fell in a hole. Let's go see if the. Uh, my slave cylinder leaks down. I have learned to do that. Let me see if the uh, if there's any water to even get to. How about that? Oh. oh my goodness, I don't have an info. I got an four wheel drive here, but I don't have the hub sucked in. That, if you remember, is going to be a winter project. There are more wasps up there than there are subscribers on my channel. That's the in the water one. 
There's the end of it. I'm in a different wagon, so I don't have my waders and all that stuff. But I might use that stick with the V in it. I don't know. I'm trying to get you settled here. You keep falling. Here's our cage, which looks like my son has stepped on it a few times it's supposed to be a square it's not a square they come down here catfishing and gar fishing and whatever they can catch fishing. Oh my goodness. I'll be back. I've got the wrong end on the wrong end. So I've got to put this on the right end. I know you can't, you can't get a feel for the deal. That's right here. Just wait right there. I think I'm done with the square thing. I could do like this. I'm going to get a plan to make that stay on there better. Change plans and turn it back around. So I can hook it on this C-clamp and I'll just get another C-clamp for the pump. I'm going to have something to hold it. So we will use this C-clamp.
wire broke again. It's not long enough to go through. This is why you drive one truck. And not multiple. Or two. That is ready. Let's go get the pump. Yeah. I didn't realize how big of holes those were. Yeah, you made those ones. <laughs> yeah, I don't care about the damn dirt, boy. Fire with you. I don't see any joy. Is this good, Gable? Tore up your car worse than it did my dirt, though, didn't it? My car, that it pops like little rapid in there. The same spot. It's like a rapid. I get it as I'm driving. Oh, damn, ball joints or CV joints. We just had all new ball joints put in it and that axle. Mm -hmm. even worse. Mm -hmm. the front drive shaft and four wheel drive. And then when I, you know, when I turn left to go in the mile road, when I hit that one turn right there, even if I hit it soft, it's like boom. <laughs> That's because it's just missing that big rubber on top of the spring. If I can just fly on with this. Did you go to that game last night? It looks like I got a spot that needs tape. Two spots. Two spots. Let's see if gorilla tape works. Catching a moment. <laughs> I wonder if this tape will hold when it's wet. You need that uh, that flex tape. I know. Or a dude slaps on that. Water. I'm about to slap some of this on there. I didn't check all the joints. I guess I should. Hey, Jay, hold this. And. Oh, gosh, you, Daddy, you just. Daddy, 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 Daddy. What? Daddy. Turn around. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> what? Hey. We got a problem. I bank taped every one of them. Except the first one I tried to tape and it was wet. It's still, it's still leaked. The rest of them are doing pretty good.
So when that one drains, that was my next to the oldest son and his friend. We'll go check, see if it's pumping or not. Put some more tape on this one. Try to drain. I got it real tight now. I got it reset and everything. I want you to crank it up. I'll go look, see if it's coming out. There's a little bit coming out right there. A little bit, it's okay. A water fountain is not okay. Man, those are deep holes. That was the drive through point, but it uh, I moved the pipe so we actually turned a different direction now this time. I hear water. Ha, ah, that's not like it. Ah, they're gonna be so happy. It looks good. Fresh creek water. Nice and cool. There's a hopper of many grasses on me. it for the day come back check in a couple hours refill the gas tank and do it again <laughs>